it was just so beautiful. It felt like when I was out standing in the in the gardens and and sitting out there, it was so quiet and peaceful, and and it was it was almost like heaven on earth. I kept thinking that that must be what Eden was like, and it was just just so warm and comforting, and just you know, it just envelops you and 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 just keeps you comfortable. I was in and out. You know, I didn't want to spend too much time away, but, but yeah, I spent a fair bit of time and, and luckily the weather was really nice. So, you know, everything was just starting to grow. So with the spring and that, and it was just, it was very comforting to watch things grow. When we were told that she would, could come here, I was thrilled because I knew that Bonnie had said that um, it was such a good experience for her being and she does fall in some volunteering for hospice in Vernon and, and, um, um, I knew that it would be a beautiful place, so when we came here, everybody just wrapped their arms around me and made me feel like just part of the family and that I was, I was never alone and, you know, they were insisting that I eat and, 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 you know, sleep on the cot and I didn't want to and, you know, all those things, but everybody looked after me like I was the patient. So, you know, it was, it was just the best place to be and, you know, um, the best place for mom to say goodbye. You know, it was it was so comforting for me. I was so glad when they asked if if she could come here, and I said yes, I'd love that. A hospice house has such a bad rap. You know, mm -hmm. it's a place to die, but you know, it's a place to die with dignity, and 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 warmth, and you know, there's always somebody standing behind you with their hand on your back, and and you know, giving you little little bits of information and everybody's got a different twist on on death and and you know it's it's not a sad thing it's 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 I can't explain it it's just like a celebration because the life is over but you know it's 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 so easy you know rather than just watching somebody die in a cold hospital room you know I wanted her to be at home but as it got closer and closer and it just wasn't it I was afraid, but when I came here, I wasn't afraid. There was so much laughter and and hugs and warmth and you know, you know, all those things. Like it was just like being with a whole bunch of family that that just loved you to death, you know. So, so I was really glad. I'm I'm so pleased that we were able to be part of this. You know, we were amazed at at how everybody is so, you know, I love my job and I mean that's just mm -hmm. and I'm thinking how can you do this day in day out but you know it's it they're 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 seeing it as as part of life and and so everybody's got their different twist on it. One of the fellows, one of the nurses told us that um, the reason that she wasn't going when we thought she should that um, there must have been an accident and there was a waiting line in heaven to get in. So, you know, there was, there was a lot of laughter. It was, it was very enjoyable. As for the situation that it was, it was still very enjoyable to, to be here. Like I say, lots of laughter and lots of good times and, you know, having the, 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 the little lovebird everywhere. He was just a delight, you know. So, you know, it was, it was the best.